Hello everyone, this is Jack and today we are talking about four pesticides you can buy from a store such as Home Depot and Lowe's or Osh to protect your plants in a natural organic way. Now I don't like to use pesticides or chemicals in my garden. I like to grow my food organically and naturally like it has been done for centuries by our ancestors. I love this earth and I love this planet and I hate to use pesticides and chemicals on our ground that contaminates the soil for years to come. Currently, I'm growing most of the produce I need from my backyard, which is quarter of an acre, which is pretty good amount. However, my future vision includes creating a five to 10 acre organic, you pick your own vegetable garden. And when I do that, I will have a special for my subscribers. So stay tuned. But first, let's cover those four natural pesticides you can use in your garden. The first one I want to talk about is diatomaceous earth. Diatomaceous earth is a white powdery substance. It's made from mining the fossils of hard shell creatures called diatoms. You can buy diatomaceous earth in a 10 pound bag. Make sure you only buy the food grade diatomaceous earth. The way diatomaceous earth works is that it absorbs lipids from the waxy outer layers of insects with exoskeleton. Diatomaceous earth is not effective when it gets wet. Diatomaceous earth does not cause any harm to humans or pets. However, make sure you do not breathe it in. Diatomaceous earth is a really effective pesticide to use on your plants. However, it only works on hard shell insects such as ants, beetles, and cockroaches. The second pesticide I want to talk about is a pure castile soap. Now, I like to use the Dr. Broner's pure castile soap. You can use any type of pure castile soap. Do not use a dish soap or any kind of soap you use to wash clothes. Those are not the kind of soaps you want to put on your plants. This pure castile soap is okay to use on your plants because it consists of oils such as olive oil, coconut oil, and other oil ingredients. Make sure you buy the unscented castile soap. The insecticidal power comes from the fatty acids contained in the soap. These fatty acids work really well against soft body insects like aphids, spider mites, and white flies. To use this soap on your plants, add two tablespoons of this soap to one gallon of water. Dilute it and then put it in a spring bottle and then spray your plants with the soap and you will see incredible results. The third pesticide I want to talk about is the Bt spray. Now the Bt spray is a naturally occurring bacterium that has been used to kill pests since 1950s. Bt spray is only effective against caterpillars and worms. Now it is very effective against those cabbage worms that eat our kale and our spinach. Most of the Bt products contain insecticidal crystal proteins and viable spores that can produce live bacteria. When leaves sprayed by Bt spray are eaten by cabbage worms, it causes acidity in their guts which causes them to die. The bacterium in Bt spray is not harmful to humans or pets. So if you see those holes on your cabbage or your kale, it is most likely caused by those cabbage worms. And you can use this Bt spray to deter and kill those cabbage worms. The fourth pesticide I want to mention is the neem oil. The neem oil is a naturally occurring oil from a neem tree and it is really bitter. If you try a little bit of this neem oil, you will know why those insects hate, absolutely hate this oil. Neem oil has been used for centuries for medicinal purposes. However, it is also used as a pesticide or insecticide. Neem oil deters pests due to really bad taste. And also, neem oil disrupts the hormonal balance of insects, which causes them to die. In India, people use neem stems as toothbrush. Now, I actually tried one of those neem stems as toothbrush the last time I went to India. And let me tell you, that's the only time I actually brush my teeth with a neem stem. It is supposed to be really good for you, but the taste is absolutely bitter. If you use two tablespoons of this neem oil to one gallon of water and you spray your plants with this neem oil, I'm telling you, those pests and those insects are going to make a run for it from your garden. I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, hit that like button. But if you really enjoyed the video and you also want to see future videos like this one, hit that subscribe button and I will see you in another video.